Hey YouTube, in today's video, we're gonna continue with the April Fish Room update and part two. So stick around and check this out. All right, the five grow out tanks over here on this rack, I have my yellow cobra endlers. There's also a new or a newer batch of blue-eyed ancestress in here. And there's about 40 of those. There's still a couple of uh, older blue-eyed ancestress in here as well. There's one right there. This tank next to it, I have about 15 uh, Lampralogus ocelotus gold. Four of them are on hold. Uh, the other 10, I did have somebody that was interested. I'm waiting to hear back. So these might all be sold. Um, but I, you know, it's first come, first serve. I do have Ocelotus listed on the Get Gills website. I think I'm offering them for $12 on the Get Gill website. They usually sell for about $18 elsewhere. My LFS sells them for $20. If you're interested in Ocelotus, check out the Get Gills website. Over here, I've got about 40 more Ocelotus that are growing out. There's one of my super red uh, males. I only have three in the fish room, two males, one female, but that is my small male. Gorgeous looking fish, really intense coloration. And uh, I would like to get these super reds breeding. And that is one uh, bushy nose that I wouldn't mind getting a spawn or two from, just because they sell for a little bit more money than the blue eyes and the albinos and all those others, other ones. But uh, yeah, just loads of ocelotus. Same thing over here. Another 40 plus ocelotus in here. A few blue-eyed ancestress. Trying to keep a few of those ancestress in each tank to help with the uh, diatoms. And then this is uh, where I had those uh, Dumbo Ear, Santa Claus Dumbo Ear guppies. And I have a fresh new hatch, uh, a batch of L, or the blue-eyed ancestress. And when I first put them in here, those guppies, these things were so small, the guppies started to, uh, the female started to pick them off and uh, really harass these little ones. So I took those uh, guppies out of here and uh, just have the uh, blue-eyed ancestress fry in here. And there's probably about 40 in here. And then a, about another dozen or so of the uh, larger fry that I haven't sold off yet. So those are the uh, grow out tanks. And now we'll head over to the shrimp rack. All right, in my uh, 24 karat yellow neocaridina shrimp tank, uh, this colony really took a, a major hit on its population. I sold a ton of these yellow neocaridinas and um, these aren't currently for sale. I do have a bunch of little baby shriplets in there as you can see, but I just sold way too many and the population really got low. And uh, I was thinking I might end up having to go buy more just to, more adults somewhere. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, the population is starting to rebound. There are a bunch of little baby shrimp in there, as you can see on the glass on the side pane over there. And there's a bunch here on this side pane. But yeah, this uh, population really got low. Didn't realize I was uh, really selling as many as I did. And then one day it's like, what am I doing? My gosh, they're almost gone. So maybe 30 male or 30 uh 30 adults in here maximum and i think that might even be pushing it but uh, they're starting to rebound and look really good next to them are my tangerine tigers and i do have a ton of tangerine tigers so if you are looking for tangerine tigers i think i'm selling them on getgills.com for 35 dollars for 10. i always add a couple more in in case of doa I normally don't sell adults, but I do have a lot of adults in here, as you can see, and I will do my best to uh, include an adult, including a buried female. If I have a lot of uh, females, uh, if I have an excess of buried females, I'll do my best to toss in a young female. But anyways, uh, check that out and get gills. But uh, tangerine tigers, yeah, they look absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely love these guys. And uh, sadly, they don't sell real well, which is really surprising to me because these are one of my favorite shrimp. Down below my uh, Bloody Mary group, uh, this is kind of in rebuilding mode as well. Got some huge females in here and uh, quite a few fry. I sold a lot of these and the population really took a dip 
and uh, now it's starting to rebound there's a little one on the side of the glass there I don't see nearly as many little baby shrimp in here as I do in the yellow neo tank there's a couple up here on the side glass there you can see them a few on that uh, looks like a couple on the boost of lander maybe or maybe not but yeah, these guys really took a, a hit in their population because I sold a lot. And um, these guys are not for sale. I need to uh, grow that population back. And then the last shrimp tank in the fish room, my Blue Dreams. Dark blue shrimp, black substrate. I say it all the time. Not a good combination. Uh, sold a lot of Blue Dreams. And again, these are not currently for sale. All kinds of different qualities and blue colors in here and uh, really need to try and clean that up when I have a little more time. There's some in here that look like they're completely black and then there's others that, you know, like this one over here, a little more of a neon blue, almost like a blue jelly look, but I don't care. They're all really cool. Um, they all have, you know, an interesting, unique color pattern to them. And, um, you know, it's just, they're just in here because I enjoy them. Um, this is not the main focus of the fish room. If it was, I'd definitely spend a lot more time on the shrimp and uh, culling them out. But uh, they're just in here because I think shrimp are cool. And um, I just enjoy having, having them in here. So anyways, we'll keep moving. All right, this is my breeding tank for my adult ocelotus. I only have four adult ocelotus in here. I did get rid of one that was eating fry. And then for some strange reason, the remaining four adults, there's there's the, the male right there. There's one of his girls here and another one of his girls right there. And then this gal over here, and she's getting pretty gravid. I can tell she's ready to spawn again. For some reason, the adults dispatched two of the other females that were in here after I got rid of uh, the one fish that was eating fry. So kind of disrupted the feng shui in this tank if you will and um, resulted in two of the other females getting dispatched by the remaining adults but i do have a group of about 20 fry in here i normally don't keep them in here this long this is the largest i've uh, had any fry in this tank i just don't have anywhere to move them right now the fish room is at capacity we have more fish and fry than we can really handle at this point until I get more tanks and uh, that's a um, that's something for a whole another video but we uh, we are planning another expansion here and again we'll talk about that at some other time but there's about 20 fry in here and um, they're getting pretty big so they're gonna be pretty tough to get out of here probably too big for me to siphon them out like I normally do but um, other than that the tank looks pretty good the uh, fish are healthy and as you can see, Dad is extremely happy. Trust me, that's, that's his happy face. You should see him when he's pissed off. Down below the Ocelotus is where I have my group of 12 Green Laser Corridoras. I also have a young breeding pair of L260 Queen Arabesque. The male is in that cave right there. You can see his tail hanging out. The female is probably in this cave right here. And uh, they are getting ready, or they're getting close to having their second spawn. I noticed she is very, very gravid. And uh, the first spawn was unsuccessful. And um, I wasn't even expecting it because they're such young uh, high pancistress. They're, they're small, they're young. I figured they were six months away at least. And um, was surprised to see a clutch of 12 eggs in the cave. But again, it was an unsuccessful spawn. Looking forward to these green lasers. I uh, have three more that will be added to the group. They're all young uh, green lasers, so they've got quite a bit of growing to do, but uh, I do hope to breed them at some point, get them spawning in this tank. It's really just a matter of time. Now I did uh, have a nice surprise here. My dither fish are some of my homegrown Praycox rainbows, and they have been spawning in this tank, which was a surprise to me. Uh, everything I've ever read and heard about uh, breeding rainbow fish and from my own experiences in the past I've always pulled rainbow fish fry thinking they couldn't survive in uh, very turbulent water and here you see I've got a couple of sponge filters on full blast and then I have an aqua clear 70 
hang on back on this tank as well with a pre-filter on it. But yet, here's a bunch of rainbow fish fry that have managed to survive with all that turbulence and uh, water current in here. And they are doing just fine. I haven't been feeding them anything special. They've been getting whatever else is fed to the tank because I really don't need or want any more rainbows. Um, but yeah, there's a couple smaller ones you can see in there, all different sizes. But yeah, I don't know. There's maybe 20, 25 or so. But enough on that. Really looking forward to uh, getting another spawn from the uh, 260s. And then uh, once all those green lasers, um, you know, reach maturity, really looking forward to having some green laser CW009 spawn in the uh, in the fish room. All right, the last two tanks are the most recent additions to the fish room here. We'll start out with the tank down below. This is my L397 tank. Oh, and we happen to have one out. Nice looking young male right there. And uh, I am encouraged because a couple of these males have really been showing a lot of interest in these caves lately. Uh, here's another one. Well, let me grab my flashlight. Hold that thought for just a second. That male there has been spending an awful lot of time in that cave. And uh, that just tells me they are reaching sexual maturity. And um, getting kind of curious about that. So it's just a matter of time. That's an absolutely stunning fish. There's eight of them in here. I know the, the male-female ratio was split almost right down the middle. It's either four of each or five and three. It's just an absolutely gorgeous pleco. They're a wood-eating pleco and um, feed them a, a pretty low protein, mostly veggie diet. I really don't feed them anything with a, uh, a protein content over 35%. And then I do have a bunch of Anubias, and somebody had asked me a while ago if my L397s were eating the Anubias. And no, they're not. And these Anubias are actually thriving in this tank. And uh, they've been doing really well. So I, apparently that person was uh, having some issues with his 397s eating Anubias. But that's not been a problem with mine. And then the dither fish, I have a few different types of Tetras in here. But... I really enjoy this tank. The 397s are a very, very messy pleco, though. You can see all the detritus and poo back over here. And uh, even though this tank is, uh, both these 75s are on an automatic uh, drip system and water change system, I still get in here and uh, gravel vac the sand at least once a week. And um, yeah. So anyways, the last tank up above, this is where I keep my new Pearl Scale Platinum Angels. And they are just a absolutely beautiful fish. I do keep my L264 Sultans in here. I did have, I do have two adults in here and they were caved up together a couple weeks ago over here in this square cave. Uh, sadly it was a false alarm. I think maybe they just ran into each other accidentally. I don't know. Maybe they were a little curious but Praycox Rainbow in there as well but these uh, Platinum Pearl Scale Angels are just gorgeous fish and they're getting to put up they're putting on a lot of really nice size but you can see that blue up there in their dorsal fin absolutely stunning fish but really enjoying this tank and um, looking forward to breeding these angels as well as the l264 sultans that is the other 75 gallon tank all right, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them down below. Hit the like button on your way out. If you're not subscribed, take a second, hit that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. Until the next one, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll catch y'all later.